you know, sometimes I just feel like I'm in a like a creative rut, you know? Like there's just no possible way I could come up with another idea, 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 another idea. Andy Warhol wasn't just the inventor of pop art. He was a master of time as well. He's credited with inventing the 15 minutes of fame concept and his art was an accurate reflection of the now that he found himself in. He could get happy over nothing, find thrills in the ordinary, and stage beauty through low lights and trick mirrors. Of all the many quotes I read by Andy, the one I liked best was this. He said, it doesn't matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. In today's Masters episode, we're having coffee with Andy Warhol. Right, so one of Andy's ideas was to create a restaurant where all diners would eat alone. Andy himself enjoyed eating alone and we can see why. Second Lord in the first house. Plus, Second Lord is the king the royal king in the royal house of cancer, the queen. There was something regal about Andy. And one of the things I find most interesting about him was that he was a man of very few words. Take a look at these clips. I've Andy, read... oh, I must warn you, Andy won't say a word. Why? Um, he's not used to making really public appearances, so I think uh, he'll, he'll whisper answers to me if you ask him a question. <laughs> Can I listen he while he whispers? <laughs> Uh, I'll whisper to you. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say one word, Andy? I <laughs> know. <laughs> you never in any of your work have ever really said anything that tells anyone anything about you, and you don't want that to happen, do you? Uh, well, there's not very much to say about you know about me. So we can clearly see a man who doesn't want to say too much. This is reflected in D9, where Ketu in Scorpio is in a prominent air house, a house of communication. And again, we have Ketu in Scorpio in the second house in D10. Second house is all about speech. So when it came to career, Andy didn't have too much to say. Also remember that Ketu is a suppression energy. His ascendant in Cancer is also indicating someone who may not feel comfortable with being centre stage. Cancerians are also famous for being the most shy sign of the zodiac. And I believe the most loving and generous. Many of Andy's lovers said that he was extremely kind, warm and generous, a very loving man at heart. Also, we've got Sun in the first house there and that can be hard to get close to, after all. How exactly does one hug the sun? Now, what about his gift for art? Well, this can be seen via the Saraswati yoga he has in his D1 chart. As stated by Hart Defoe and Robert Svoboda in their book, Light on Life, we want to see Venus, Mercury and Jupiter beautifully placed. And this chart certainly meets those requirements. Some would say sun in the first is spoiling the yoga, but... I disagree. Remember, the sun is incredibly creative, so I believe the sun is adding to Andy's magic. To me, it's these four houses that have been key to creating all the artwork he's ever made. Through Jupiter and some serious manpower, that's Mars, all that creativity was channeled through to the public via his Rahu-Mars combination in the 11th house. What about world fame? Where is that? All right, this is not so obvious in the D1 chart. However, when we hop into Andy's career chart, the D10 chart, it's clearly there. He has a Shasha Mahapurush yoga, just like the one we saw recently on the channel in Johnny Depp's D1 chart. Now for Andy, 
His Saturn is based in the fourth house of home and country, which made him an American icon. Plus, with Saturn in Shravana and Akshatra, we can see that one of his superpowers was listening to the social and cultural cues of his time. One of the major things that really struck me about Andy's charts was all the new moon energy that appears in several Varga charts. It's kind of in D1 in a sort of sense. So we've got Sun in the moon's house and it's very prominent in his D9 chart. Regardless of whether or not I knew this chart belongs to Andy Warhol, with this new moon information at hand, I would say this person has the potential to come up with new ideas on an industrial scale. Okay, industrial scale, Capricorn, right? I would also mention something like this, you know, th this person can commercialize new ideas as part of his work in the world. There is so much more I could say, but I'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next time.